Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. We are down here at Animal Services with a house full of cats, dogs, kittens, everything you can think of, and we need to get some of them out of here. Glad to, that you're back, Deborah. We hold the, held the fort while you were gone, but you know, the dogs I, keep coming. It doesn't matter who's here, who's not here. The dogs we know keep coming. They do. They don't. Re yeah, it really doesn't matter who's here. And um, well, so because we are we are facing a full house, and we are also facing the Fourth of July weekend coming up before too long, and oh, that means right. trouble for us usually. That means dogs get scared. They run away. They jump fences. They get out of backyards. They just get scared to death, and they're going to end up down here. So we have a couple of number yeah. one messages. Number one, one, one. I'll start off with put ID on your pets. If you've got ID anywhere in the house, like some people say, well, I do have a ID somewhere around here, but I just don't put it on his collar because it jingles too much. I don't like that. Get it on. Or a quick fix for that is just take a Sharpie marker, write your phone number on the collar and your dog will get right back to you after all the fireworks of the 4th of July. What's another thing we need to absolutely talk about with that? Absolutely. And, and if your dog does get out and get away, however, please come down to Animal Services and see if we have him. Because any stray picked up in the county, any stray brought in by a Good Samaritan who picks your dog or your cat up, they all come here. There is no other county shelter that will accept a stray. And we've got the number, phone number, up on the screen several times during the right. show. So jot it down just in case your dog or cat gets away cats go too please do now now, what, now here's a dog that we hope will not be here on the fourth of july this is speedo he's a shelter favorite he is a doll um he's about 11 years old a little gray in the face but he is totally spunky totally active totally cute did you see he's totally wearing his fourth of july he bandana? is totally ready for the holiday he would love to be wearing that that uh scarf at your backyard barbecue on the 4th of July. Um, Speedo has half of his adoption fee paid because wow. not only is he cool, he's the volunteer's oh. pick, which means we love him the most, he's which got means everything. He is for sale for a bargain price because we love him so much. Good lap dog, good on the leash, all around good dog. This is Speedo and he has terrific ears, I have to say. Speedo's ID number 206-503. Now this is my kind of dog right here. He is a newcomer to the shelter. This guy came in on the 17th of the month. He is a very nice dog. He hangs out with another dog that look just, looks just like him named Sassy. We'll see her a little bit later. Um, a nice boy picked up in Napomo. So if you're missing your dog and or if you want a nice guy like this to hang out with, come take a look at this sweetheart. His ID number is 218496. Just a big hunk of love there. Oh, this is our Dougie. We have got to get him out of this shelter. He came to us from a hoarding situation back, I think, in August of last year. Um, he was totally unsocialized, totally terrified of everything. He's much better than he used to be, incredibly better than he used to be. He's very loving once he knows you and trusts you, but he needs a home where they're not going to expect too much of him. He just needs to kind of be left on his own to decide how he's going to adjust, and he just needs time and a patient family. And he Deborah, should go to a home without cats, though, by the way. He doesn't much care for cats. Half of his adoption fee has already been paid. Fantastic. So that's fantastic for Doug. Take him out of here and half his adoption fee already paid for Please you. do. We hope someone comes and gets him. His ID number is 213588. Dougie is the heart of this place, and we've just got to get him into a good home. Oh, this is Bowser. He's been with us a while now. This poor guy, he's a nice guy. He's house trains. He loves to play fetch. He loves water. He knows sit, shake. He knows stay. Um, he's really smart, too. We have to keep the latch on his gate clipped all the time, or he just lets himself out. So he's a bright boy. He can learn. Um, and he's a lover, too. Bowser's ID number is 200822. And we have us here, a Bassador. She looks like she is a Basset crossed with a Labrador. She is darling. She is sweet. She is a lap dog. She's cute as heck. 
Um, oh my gosh, somebody should be looking for this dog, by the way. She came to us on the 17th of the month from Napomo. I can't believe there's nobody looking for this sweet little girl. Uh, her ID number is 218512, and she's going to get adopted in a hurry if her owners don't get down here and find her. Well, look at that beautiful blue pit bull. She's, she's a nice pocket size, great little size. Uh, she came in on the 14th of the month. We're going to name her Jody because her owners have not come in to look for her. Super sweet and affectionate. Um, very easy on the leash, so that's really nice. Probably does need to be the only other dog in the home, but she is ready to be somebody's best friend. Jody's ID number is 218421. Apparently, since Game of Thrones became popular, huskies and malamutes are filling up shelters. That becoming a popular breed is about the worst thing that can happen to a dog. You get too many of them. Um, this is a beautiful husky, maybe a malamute mix, but might be all husky, we're not sure. His name is Jax. He is very typical of the breed. He can be a little bit aloof with people. He likes to run. He's looking off in the distance. He needs an experienced dog owner who knows what they're doing. And he needs a very secure, well-fenced yard because he can get out of he can open latches and gates and he's very smart he's also very beautiful we and just about two years old half his adoption fee has already been paid so if you adopt him that's just going to he's a half price dog we were motivated to get him out of here we love him he's gorgeous just be mo just please be uh ready to do training and really work with him he's he's brilliant his id number is 209424 this is beautiful jacks Beauty would be that perfect dog for a couple that likes to travel in an RV or just wants one dog. She's not overtly animal aggressive at all, but she doesn't want to live with any other animals. She wants to be the only one in the house. Super loyal, super affectionate. She's going to love her person or her people, but she doesn't want to live with other animals. So the, the, the trick to a successful adoption for this five-year-old dog who has half of her adoption fee paid, who's also very smart, very sweet, is to be the only animal and somebody's devoted companion. Her ID number is 929647. This is our beauty. This is Sassy. Um, she was featured recently in a Telegram Tribune article. She's had about a bunch, I'll just say a bunch of litters in her lifetime, and then she got left behind when the people moved. Um, she looks like she should be the mother to a dog that we just showed you earlier in the show. Uh, bless her heart, she likes other dogs. She plays with other dogs. She's not really good with cats or other small animals, but she likes other dogs. She's very loving, a good companion, about eight years old, half of her adoption fees paid. Um, she's just as affectionate and darling as she can be. And, you, it, you know, she likes exercise. She likes walks, but she doesn't have tons of stamina, so you don't have to walk for miles a few times around the block. She'll be happy. Sassy's ID number is 217-760. She's just a sweetheart. Come on, folks. Come get her. This is Kalua. She is a four-year-old oh, Kelpie mix or Border Collie mix. Very athletic dog. Um, very smart. She likes to play with other dogs down here. Probably not good with cats or, uh, and, or livestock or chickens or goats, things like that. So no farm animals, but she likes to play with other dogs. She's healthy. She'd be a good running partner. She'd be a good jogging partner, a good barking partner, a good beach dog, all that kind of stuff. Her ID number is 212242. This is Kalua. Annie's a young dog, just probably a little over a year old. She was a wild child when we got her in here. She's gone through a lot of training while she's been here. Um, she's good on the leash. She likes to run and hike. She's a young, athletic, healthy dog, very responsive to training, very affectionate and loving. Um, she has a lot of play buddies down here. She is an all-around nice dog and a good size, too. And she wants to play, play, play. Annie's ID number is 216141, and Larry says that she is the smartest dog in this place, and he should know. He's down here all the time with these dogs. So come take a look at Annie, and half of her adoption fee is paid as well.
this gorgeous creature, and I do mean gorgeous creature with the bluest eyes I've ever seen. <laughs> I meant the dog. This is Thor. He's four years old, um, and he is incredibly beautiful. Um, he's very smart. You know, he's very, as Larry would say, very malamute. You need to know this breed, um, but highly intelligent, um, just you know, they don't, sometimes they don't pay attention to you. They're sort of looking at the horizon, but a gorgeous dog and a good dog. Thor's ID number is 218188. Sarge is definitely a hunting. We've got him down as a pointer mix. Definitely acts like a hunting dog. Um, he needs an active home. He, he's just, he's, He's, he would be great with someone who wants to exercise a lot. He plays with other dogs, but his thing really is people and just doing things. He wants to go, go, go all the time. He loves the water. Um, he loves treats. He knows sit. He knows stay. He's very smart. And he's good on the leash, which is nice. Sarge's ID number is 212-258. <laughs> this is Ryder, and he's all relaxed because Sandy's been doing massage on him, and he's enjoying it very much. Is that, is that just like a totally dignified look on his face right now? He looks like a southern general or something. Um, he's, he, he's a very strong dog. Uh, he can be mouthy when he plays, but he, he's getting a lot better about that. He's very loving, very sweet, wants to be a lap dog, and he's got half of his adoption fee paid. So this is Ryder, neutered male, about two years old, 217464. We love this guy. He is a good boy. This beautiful girl, her name is Emily. As you can tell, she's affectionate. She's a, she's a very sweet dog. She knows sit and down. She loves to run. She's, she's athletic, but she's not like crazy amount of energy really a great personality. Um, her ID number is 218210. This is Emily. This dog is one of my favorites down here. This is Lucas. He is just all around a great dog. He's nice. He's sweet. He's affectionate. He shows no problems with any other dogs. He was mildly curious with, to the office cat, but didn't try to chase it. He is, he's just sweet. And I don't know if you could tell, but he has blue eyes and they're just gorgeous. I love this dog. Lucas ID number is 218083 and he has half of his adoption fee. So he's halfway out the door. Come check this guy out. He's pretty fantastic. This is Sadie. This is another sharp girl. She's house trained. She knows sit, down, shake. Very affectionate and loving. Very good on the leash. Probably best is the only dog in the home. Doesn't, not really crazy about other dogs, um, but uh, a great companion for people in a family. <laughs> Her ID number is 923-421. This is Sadie. Oh, that wind feels good. Isn't Simon the cutest thing? He doesn't like the shelter much, and he can be a little grouchy with people he doesn't know well because he's scared down here. But once you get to know him, he loves you. He'll be a good watchdog. He's just, he's got great ears. He's just cute. Simon is cute. His ID number is 218240. This is Angel. Um, she is about five years old. She's, she loves her people. She's leash trained, seems to be house trained, a great ball dog. She loves the water. She does want to be the only pet in the home. However, she's not that crazy about other animals. She is all about people. Half of her adoption fee is paid and Angel's ID number is 213360. This is Layla. Um, she's a nice girl. She's got a lot of energy. She seems to be house trained, seems to be just an all around nice dog. We think she's about s six or seven years old. 
Um, and that is such a nice age for dogs. They're just kind of, they're still energetic and healthy, but they've got, still got a lot of um, energy, but not crazy. Her ID number is 218-418. This is Layla. This is Buddy, and he is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. He is a, a good dog, really nice dog, great player, a, kind of a hard player with other dogs, and really should go to a home with another dog that he can play with because that is his favorite thing in the world. Um, Buddy is young, only about a year old, and probably he's husky, but he might be mixed with some German Shepherd. He has some German Shepherd traits as well. Buddy's ID number is 218-466. Okay. Here is another pretty pocket-sized athletic little dog named Scout. She loves people. She doesn't really like being around other dogs, but man, does she love people. And she's got a great little wagon tail. You can see that tail wagging situation happening in the back there. She knows sit. She knows down. Um, just a really fun girl, but needs an athletic home. Her ID number is 218-277. This is Scout. This is just a big overgrown puppy, not even a year old yet. Uh, we're calling this dog Webster. He is sweet. He likes to play with other dogs. He's still got some growing to do. We think he's maybe a mix of Lab and Great Dane, so he's not even fully grown. Uh, very friendly, <laughs> totally friendly dog. Uh, his ID number is 218-332. Uh, he's a hoot and a half. You'll have fun with this one. <laughs> And he's taking down the set. That's okay. He's having a good time. <laughs> this is Guapo. That means handsome. And he is such a sweet dog. He's a big lover. Uh, half of his adoption fee has been paid because we like him. Um, he doesn't do well with chickens, but he does well with other dogs, especially girls. He knows sit. He's good on the leash. Um, he's just... He's just a great guy. He's just a great guy to have around. He would be such a good friend. So everybody, please, please, I think he's our final dog of the, of the day. Please be careful with your dogs and your cats over the 4th of July weekend. We don't want to end up with them down here. But if, if your dog does go missing, please check with us at Animal Services. Make sure there's ID on your dog. Make sure your microchip information is up to date. Make sure your licensing information is up to date. Please keep them home, everybody. Please keep them home. Just take out the Sharpie market marker and write their, your phone number on their collar. Be sure they have a way to get home easily. Honestly, field officers would rather take them home than bring them here. Guapo's ID number is 216-863. He's a good boy. He deserves a home. Go Guapo. Well, we've got a lot of cats to show you. I know we are loaded with cats and kittens, and we're starting out with the most adorable little black cat to represent our crew, and his name is Reno. He is a good representative of our type of cat we have here. They're just tiny baby, two-month-olds. ID number 217768, and this is Reno. And Reno's got a lot of brothers and sisters here, which you'll be seeing just in a little bit. But consider Reno because black cats have a harder time getting adopted than any other coloring. And he really, really needs a home. He's a fun guy. ID number 217768. Reno. Up next, we've got Orville. And Orville is a really sweet cat. As you see, he's a very lovely buff color. He is uh, just about five years old. And his ID number is 218505. He's a really handsome cat, this Orville. ID number 218505. Here's a wonderful uh, dark tabby. We found this cat in San Miguel. Do you recognize this cat? Is he yours? He came to us around the 12th of June. His ID number is 218372. And if he doesn't get collected by his owner, we're going to have him up for adoption. He's available right now, and we're calling him Tupac. ID number 218372.
Wow, this is a beautifully marked cat. Uh, I think you have to see this cat in person. All three colors here. She's kind of a um, tabby calico. Her name is Bijou. She's just about three years old, and her ID number is 218511. She's a stunner. 218511. Her name is Bijou. How adorable is this? Here's Scarlett giving you the over-the-shoulder over the look. She is so pretty. You people out there who love the Siamese, she is the one for you. Her uh, ID number is 218513. She's just about two years old, and she is a beauty. This is Scarlett, ID number 218513. Okay, we have another handsome tabby here. Montgomery's a little bit skittish while we're filming him, but, you know, the shelter's a scary place, and now we're putting lights on him to film him. He's a wonderful boy. He's just about two years old. ID number 218373, Montgomery. Say hello to Rhett. He is uh, a really 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 did i say really enough friendly cat he loves to be petted he loves all of the things that cats love and he'd really like to curl up on a windowsill or a carpet in the sun his id number is 218446 and half of his adoption fee has been paid that's right so if you come here and fall in love with him only half of his adoption fee needs to be paid that will save you forty dollars that's quite a sum ID number 218446 RET. Hi, Hannah. This makes me want to sing that song. Hannah, Hannah, Bobana, Banana, Fana, Fofana, Me, My, Mo, Mana, Hannah. Well, she didn't seem to like that song so much. Maybe you guys out there like that song and can remember when we all were singing songs like that. Hannah's not singing any songs here at the shelter, she's just in her cage. These cats have very small spaces to move around in. Seriously, the cage is tiny and they stay in it all day. So if you've got any time on your hands to come down, volunteer with us, get a cat out of the cage, groom the cat, talk to the cat, pet the cat, you'd be surprised how fast the cat comes around and adoption is soon to follow because then they're so socialized. So think about volunteering down here with us and the cats. In the meantime, you can adopt Hannah, ID number 218160. She has a $25 rebate because she had all her kittens here at the shelter. She was brought in pregnant and had all her kittens here. And all her kittens, of course, have been adopted and now she remains. So please, please, please get Hannah out of here. She spent enough time here already. $25 rebate on Hannah, and her ID number is 218160. And if you want to volunteer, call the volunteer line. That is 781-4413, and we'll tell you all about it and how you can volunteer. Here's a sweet little tabby with beautiful topaz eyes. He's just about a year old, and we're calling him Timmy. ID number 218461, Timmy. Say hi to Simba. She is kind of pretty timid and scared in here, and that's where the volunteers come in, getting these cats out of their cages and socializing them. So don't forget what I asked in a, cu a couple of frames ago. If you're considering volunteering, please do. Simba is about one year old, and her ID number is 2184. 247. That's 218247. Simba. Here is a gorgeous black long haired cat. He's just about a year old, and we're calling him Sheridan. That's a pretty good name for this cat. He's so handsome, he's so distinguished. ID number 218430, Sheridan. Now here's a sweetie pie. This is Magnolia. Now she needs a little grooming, yes, and she's going to be gorgeous. She's gorgeous right now. Her markings are exquisite. She's a little older, so she qualifies for the senior rebate. That's right. 
If you adopt her, you get $35 back on your adoption fee. That's fantastic. And you get a cat like Magnolia. Her ID number, 218436. Magnolia. She's a sweet thing. Take two. Hi, Penny. This is a sweet, sweet cat. Her name is Penny. She is ID number 218242. And she is just um, a great lap cat. Loves to be petted. Wonderful looking. It's Penny. ID number 218242. Kittens, we got kittens. Yeah, we do. This is the time of the year where kitten season begins, and I don't know when it ends, usually three months down the line. So these are our first batches of kittens. We're only going to show you this one lump of kittens here, but they are very representative of the kittens that we have in the shelter and in foster. So if you want a kitten, this is the place to come, the shelter. And you can find out about all the animals that we have in foster as well. And what's good about the animal in foster is that the foster mom or dad can tell you all about the kitten and you know that it has been raised in a household. So most likely no illnesses, diseases, things like that. So get your coat on, get your hat and coat on. Well, it's a little hot today for that, but come on down to the shelter, visit with our kittens, see what we've got, and we've got more in foster. So we are able to fill your order for any kind of kitten you might want to have. Don't forget we've got some bunnies too. Here's a good representative of our bunnies. This bunny is male, just about a year old, and his ID number is 218488. Four. Check us out. Bunnies, cats, dogs, you name it. Best pet store in the county.